Alright guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and this is No Man's Sky. Hello Games have just made a pretty big update to No Man's Sky. Now this is a Not The Beyond update which is coming later on and it's not the VR update which is also coming a bit later on. Instead the update right here is for PC and it's bringing support for Vulkan. Now Vulkan of course is an API that will greatly enhance performance especially on AMD graphics cards. It replaces OpenGL support so it's a pretty massive overhaul of the game. Uh, basically to get access to this you will need the Steam version of the game and it won't be available obviously on consoles but you're going to Steam Right click on No Man's Sky in your library, select properties and type in the access code on the beta tab. Click check and then you will have a new drop down option available to you which will allow you to access the experimental build of No Man's Sky. So yes that's right, that this is currently an experimental build, it's not the final release version just yet. So it will be a little while before it makes it to the final release. Now what's really interesting here is that Hello Games are saying this, Final Vulcan support will bring many PC players an immediate performance improvement, but it also helps us to increase our options as we continue to make significant engine changes. It is only one portion of a large body of work that will see technical improvements for all players on all platforms. So this really does once again highlight Hello Games position that they have a lot in store for the future of No Man's Sky. And I've really got to hand it to them what with this update and all the other updates being completely free and the game after all not being supported by microtransactions is a big news indeed. Especially in a world where microtransactions and other DLC or paid for DLC is coming out the ears of just about every studio and every game. Now Hello Games go on to say we have also added support for crash reporting. In the event of a crash, call stack data is collected via Steam. They say they already support this on other platforms. This will enable Hello Games to more quickly identify and respond to serious issues. We have updated the EULA to take this into account. So do keep in mind then that this is an experimental build, therefore crashes are quite possible. Uh, they might even be likely. But hopefully Hello Games will get these all rectified and fixed before the final build. Now the patch notes go on to say that OpenGL has been replaced by Vulkan, which we know, we've just discussed that. They've also revised HDR support and made some improvements there. Uh, adaptive and triple buffered VSync are now selectable from the graphics menu. And here's a nice thing for people who have been playing on laptops. That is, players with more than one GPU can now select which is used from the graphics settings. And like I say, this is going to be a good feature for people who are specifically playing on laptops because sometimes these games have a habit of choosing the inbuilt uh, GPU, the one that's built onto the CPU. So those things don't always work quite as good as if you use your dedicated GPU. So that is going to be very useful. Uh, changing the following settings no longer require restarting. Window mode, resolution, VSync, shadow detail and reflection quality. The loading shaders load step has been removed, improving the loading experience, nice. And crash data is gathered via Steam, which we've already discussed. Now, I haven't actually tried the update out myself. The computer is just making the download right now. The update's around about 3.9 or 3.4 gigabytes. It's fairly large, but what do we expect with a massive engine overhaul like this? Now, I will be making some videos on No Man's Sky over the coming days and coming weeks. There's a lot of content to chew through. Uh, especially with the fact that Beyond the free update is coming later this year. In addition, chances are that I may well stream this tomorrow. Uh, no solid plans there, but I do have a live stream scheduled for Wednesday, so No Man's Sky seems as a likely candidate as any. Now, another thought here is that I feel it's a particularly good time for No Man's Sky to have a Vulcan update. Anything that can improve uh, the game's performance is going to be essential, more or less mandatory, uh, for the upcoming VR update. Of course, here you really do need 90 frames a second or locked 90 frames a second preferably because below that, VR is rarely a pleasurable experience. So then, if you want to try this update out for yourself, do have a look at the link in the video description. Right there, you will find a link to the No Man's Sky website detailing exactly what you need to do. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.